What's up, everybody? Um, wow. <sighs> Today's cliffhanger Friday was a cliffhanger Friday that I did not particularly enjoy or want to see, really, because of certain aspects of it. <sighs> but I'm, let me just get into this. <sighs> it's going to be hard as fuck for me to talk about this episode. I hope y'all know that. Very difficult. Okay, let me. I'm, I'm not going to talk about certain things until later in this video because I want to think about the happy moments right about now. So, um, well, some happy moments, if you want to call them that. The bright side of the episodes. Um, okay, John McBain. Why is he traipsing around the PCPD? He don't work for them. Why the fuck are you interrogating Todd? You're not even... A part of the PCPD. As far as we know, John McBain is still an LPD cop. So why are you still around the PCPD interrogating Todd? Todd don't got to tell you shit. You ain't no cop. And you're not the cop that could put him in jail. You don't even work for the Port Charles Police Department. And Todd didn't have to tell Carly anything neither. I'm like, Todd, my dude, be quiet until your famous attorney gets there your fabulous attorney gets there and get you the fuck out of it. Haven't you ever heard of stay silent? You got the right to remain silent? That's your right. Use it, Todd. Shut the hell up. Stop telling him everything. <sighs> My God. Um, I wish Todd didn't swear on Star because now it's going to be worse when Carly finds out the truth. Trust me, she will. Um... But John McBain just get on my nerves sometimes. Like, you're not going to put Todd in prison. When Victor Lord Jr. was Todd, McBain could never put him in prison. He could never find anything on him that was going to stick. So you're not going to find anything on Todd either. Um, so, um, Oh my god. It's like, I'm trying to get through this fucking video, but I just keep thinking about what the hell I just saw in General Hospital in this episode today. I, I, I'm trying to. Um, okay, let me talk about Joe Jr. Thank, just get him the fuck off this show, please. I, please, I hope he's dead. Um, he's a waste of a character. Um, When he pointed the gun, when he pointed the gun at Michael and him, he just irks my nerves. Like, you're never going to be like Sonny. You're never going to be the top mob boss in Port Charles like Sonny. Even when Joe Jr. was a part of his father's organization back in the day, he was a fuck up. He couldn't even run the club in a successful way. His father had to send Sonny there to help him. Um... He's a complete screw-up. That's all Joe Jr. is. Joe Jr. is nothing but a screw-up. That's all he do. He could never run an organization the way Jason and Sonny ran the Corinthos Morgan organization. He could never do that. Um. Anyway, I feel bad for Lulu. That's my girl. I feel so fucking bad for her that she can't have kids. I really hope it's not because of what I've been saying because of that abortion that she had a couple years back with Dylan baby i really hope that's not the reason why she can't have kids but i don't believe this though that she can't have a kid they said the same thing about sam after she had lila they said the same thing about her that she could no longer have kids but patrick or somebody not patrick i think um um forgot that doctor name she was a female doctor um who was it? Dr. Kelly Lee. I think it was Dr. Kelly Lee. She um said Lulu, I think Sam couldn't have no more kids. But they did a uh, um they did a um surgery or whatever like that, so that way she could have a kid. Um, so I think that could happen with Lulu, like, cause I really feel bad for her and Dante, cause I know they really, really wanted this baby, and I know it's gonna be devastating to learn that they can't. I don't believe that. That whenever they tell them, 
things like that that they couldn't um have a baby or nothing like that. I don't believe that. I think it will happen for them one day. I think that when she get pregnant, this baby that she's going to get pregnant with, I think that's going to be her miracle baby. I really do. I think that's going to be her miracle child. Because I don't want to believe that she can't have a baby. Like, I don't really believe that nonsense. I think it's complete BS that she can't have a kid. Um, I felt so bad for her. Like, when she was standing there and stuff like that, when Dante walked in the room, I swear to God, she looked just like her mother. It was a glimpse of Laura when she was just standing there. Like, the face that she made reminded me so much of Janine Francis. I swear to God. Um... It reminded me so much of her, but um, man, I feel I feel bad for them. This Duke, Luke, and a situation is starting to piss me off. Um, it's starting to really like irritate me. Duke, I don't, I, I'm just on the fence about this Duke situation. Like, I don't think Duke is really Duke. I just got a feeling about it. I don't think Duke is Duke. Um. So, one day, I guess we'll find out if he's really Duke with the DNA test. But I don't really trust DNA tests either, though. Um, especially in Port Charles. Okay. Um, when Sam and Jason were at home and he said that he hasn't slept in the bed, in their bedroom, since she moved out. I was like, wow, she moved out like five, six months ago. So I'm like, he hasn't slept in their bed or their bedroom for six months, pretty much. So I'm like, wow. And then when they were in the room and stuff like that, he put his wedding ring back on. I was just sitting there smiling. Like, I was like, it's about fucking time. And when he was about to put Sam ring on her finger and the baby was kind of tugging, trying to grab the ring, it looked like he was trying to put the ring on his own pinky. That's what it looked like Daniel was trying to do. Because it looked like he was trying to put the ring on his pinky. Like when Jason had it held up in a certain way, it looked like he was trying to reach his pinky up to put his finger in it. His pinky in it. I was sitting there laughing. Like, I was like, that's a smart baby. Um, and then when they were kissing and stuff like that, I was like, yo, they really look like a real fucking family, man. When they was all laying on the bed and stuff like that, they, they look like a real family. Like, And I love that. Um, and then when they read the message and stuff like that for Bernie, I was getting pissed off because I, I knew this was the beginning of the end and I knew Jason had to leave. And then when Sam and Sam gave him the dragons, um, thing to give to him, I was like, yep, this is the final scene between, I think, I, I really believe this is the final scene between Sam, Jason, and Daniel. I knew it. Especially when he walked out the room and turned around to say goodbye and he waved at them. I knew it was the final scene. I knew it. Because whenever you know it's the final scene, whenever they turn around, when they walking out the door, normally when he walk out the door, he most likely wouldn't even look back because he know he's coming back. But it's the symbolism of it because he looked back and waved goodbye to them and said goodbye. So I knew. And when she gave him the statue thing to give them, I knew it was his last scene with them. I was like, fuck. Why couldn't they give him more time? Like, damn, yo, he just announced that he was leaving. Why y'all couldn't just let him leave most likely in late November or something? Damn, like, give him some more fucking time with his son. Like, I was so pissed. And then this Bernie situation now is starting to all make sense of how Duke changed the documents or whatever and stuff like that. Because before I was clueless. I'm like, how did he do this? So I've been thinking about Bernie. Bernie never really crossed my mind. So, um, cause I'm like, wouldn't Sonny or Alexis pay attention to stuff like this? I forgot all about his accountant. So then when Joe shot him, I was like, fuck, I was like, fuck, Bernie about to die. Then when I heard a gunshot and I seen Jason, well, I saw Jason come in. I was like, thank God. Um, Jason got there and he shot, um, Joe Jr. I'm thinking, okay, finally Joe Jr. about to die. But then when I heard another gunshot when he was talking to Bernie, I saw Jason's face when I heard a gunshot. I was like, fuck, Jason got shot. And then I see the fucking blood dripping off the dock. I'm like, fuck, 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 fuck. And he was unconscious. I'm like, yo, please tell me that Duke isn't probably going to kick Jason's body in the river. Please, my God. Um, Sonny... 
please get to the fucking dock on time on Monday. Please get to the dock on time or something to save him for fucking Christ's sake. Oh, God. Um, this was a fucking sad episode. Very sad. Monday, um, I'm gonna do a separate video for Steve Burton, um, for his exit on Monday. Um, I, man, this episode was so fucked up in so many ways, so many ways, very fucked up, very sad episode. I mean, Lulu not being able to have a fucking kid and now Jason getting shot and I know everybody don't want to recast and stuff like that, but I heard that Monica next week was going to make some type of mysterious phone call. They said she made some type of mysterious phone call. And I think that got something to do with Sean Keenan's role. I don't know if he's coming back as AJ or if he's stepping in. as Jay. I don't know that. I can't tell you. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of y'all don't want to recast, but right now I need Jason to stay on the show. I'm sorry if y'all don't agree, but I need Jason to stay on this show. I know Steve Burton. No, I mean, Sean Keenan is an amazing actor. And if an amazing, any amazing actor can step in and do the role justice. I know he's not Steve Burton and stuff like that. Give him a chance if he does step into that role. Don't say anything negative. Just give him a chance. I know he's not Steve Burton. Nobody could really replace Steve Burton. But God damn it, we need Jason to stay on the show. Because I want Jason to bond with his son. I, I think is right. And then John McBain going to show up at the door. I want Jason around for his son. I don't want John raising Jason's fucking kid. I will die if that happened. Like, seriously. I don't want him raising Jason's son. That's Jason's son. McBain has a son. His name is Liam. Go to Landview and go get your own kid. I don't want him raising Daniel. Daniel is a Morgan. I don't want him raising Daniel. But when Jason is gone, most likely, um, if it comes down to that, I don't want them pushing Sam with John McBain. I want Sam to be single and focus on her son. That's her number one priority, like she said. I don't want McBain to become her priority. Fuck that. No, she need to be there for her child. He may lose his fucking father. Like, come on. Like, I don't want John being, you know, just raising that kid. Um, But if something, if, if they do not recast the Jason character and he's gone, um, I hope Sonny and Carly and everybody else will be looking out for Sam and the baby, though. I really hope that, you know, because I'm sure Monica will. Um, Oh, I meant to say this because I didn't say this. Um, it was really good to see Diane back in action as a lawyer again. That was really good to see her. She got tied out within a quickness, of course. Thank God. Um, anyway, I hope everybody have a great weekend. Um, and on Monday's episode, let's just pray for the fucking best. Because now I am I am adamant. I want Duke Lavery's ass on a silver platter. And I want Sonny to shoot the son of a bitch for what he did to Jason. I want Duke's ass killed immediately. Now he's a fucking target. Yo, Bernie should have just said one word. He should have just said Duke Lavery. That's all he should have said. Stop talking and just say the fucking name. Like, I'm pissy and just tell Jason the name. But anyway, I hope everybody have a great weekend. Um, I'll see y'all all Monday.